right, well, I've just pulled into the spot. It's got this kayak unstrapped. All I'm going to be doing is just pulling it down here to the river behind me. You can see it. Um, I'm going to basically load up most everything in there and then kind of just carry it down, maybe come back one trip to get extra clothes. I don't wear much on my way out because it's, it's a t really shallow, small river, but um, just with paddling in there and stuff, you just get sweaty. It's kind of like walking fast and briskly into a spot. So I got to, I got to paddle up and uh, it'll take me maybe 20 minutes to get into where I'm going and then uh, we'll see we'll see what happens tonight first sit at this spot so super pumped stay with me it's gonna be awesome
Well, folks, um, just to recap the night, I got in there pretty much perfect timing. Um, next time I get in, I think I'm going to get in there just a little bit earlier so I can get back further. Um, I think I saw a total of it like 10 to 15 different deer and one or two different bucks, just a ton of does and fawns. So what I learned is kind of a little more of what I learned, um, which would have been, I think, Wednesday's hunt or Thursday's hunt that I had this last week. I learned that the does and the fawns are still together. The bucks are still, the tonight the bucks are advancing a little more. So they're starting to push the does just a little bit more. Um, the does aren't quite ready yet still. They're still with those fawns. They need to separate from those fawns still. The fawns are still confused. But tonight, deer, run, deer were running everywhere. Um, great night. Um, two bucks that I would have shot, both of them. One was, I think, was, if it was the same deer, he has eight, his four on one side. The other, other side is some weird funky drop tine. The other one, I could only see the one side again, and it was there was four on it. So it was either an eight-pointer or it was that same deer. Um, I apologize, I did not get a ton on film, there's just so many deer around me, I wasn't able to do that, and uh, so I'll do better for that next time, I got some more, actually some cool gear, got a tripod and some, some different stuff coming in uh, this week, so I can get some better quality footage going. Um, I learned that my camo is right, that the leafy suit, the, the head face, the mask on the ground, the deer can't really pick out what I, what I am, I had a doe, um, come right in at five yards behind me she couldn't she could not tell what I was until she got to five yards and I moved a little um and she she spooked so that was a good sign um I also learned that I need to get set sooner I need to pick out where I'm going I did that wrong on this hunt I probably if I would have moved faster and got further in um as soon as I saw the first time that deer moved I would have moved further north kind of right to where I would have saw them I would have shot that buck so I need to be more um decisive in that way um I think going forward though, I think that spot, no one's on there, and the deer don't have a specific pattern necessarily, I, th I think I found where they bed, um, so I think I know those things, um, so I can just basically find a good place that has enough sign around it, and I can shoot enough areas around me that I can I can just get set and then, and then wait for the action to happen. Um, the reason why, so that's going to recap for tonight, but the reason why I'm going to leave it sit for a little while... Um, you might be like, well, why the heck would you not go back in there like as soon as possible? Here's why. Because we have rain coming tomorrow. The flood, the, the river's already a little bit flooded, so I don't want it, the waters to get any higher. So that's the, for the safety reason is the number one reason why I won't be going back in there tomorrow or the next day. Um, going to give it at least till, and this is Sunday, give it till Wednesday to kind of let the, let the waters recede. Um, and maybe not till next weekend. The second reason is because... Um, and also that rain will take care of all my scent. But the second reason is because since the rut is not quite here yet, I would have shot those bucks tonight. However, the rut's not quite here. So by five days from now, the rut's probably going to be basically be here. We're going to have deer chasing like crazy. The does are going to be feeling it. So if I wait till then to go back in that spot, um, there's a good chance that the bigger deer on that, on that piece will be moving. So that's the, another reason why. I'll be hunting on that other place that you saw me hunting last week a little bit, so uh, when I do that, if there's heavy running activity, if I don't shoot a deer, I will get back in there sooner. Thanks for watching. You can get like this hat, uh, you can get this sweat stuff like this sweatshirt, hooksandtag.com. Please like this video, please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching as always. Take care, guys.